Hey, Souls, what's up? Tamikaze here. Flipster here. Chrissy. How y'all doing? Uh, we have decided to break down these lyrics uh, from song, some of these songs we have uh, listened to uh, because we're never getting to hear the lyrics uh, fully. So we've decided to read uh, the lyrics and uh, kind of break it down in a sense and, you know, just see what it means to each of us and uh, be interesting to see how that differs. And but uh, yeah, I can bounce it off of y'all and see if you uh, agree with us. We've read over this a, a little bit and uh, the song's pretty deep, so. Uh, Let's get right in, uh, Philip. Uh, read the. Uh I'll take care. Of it. I'll, I'll, I'll read the first paragraph. Uh, it says, "I'm a priest for the poorest sacrifice. I'm but a raft in a sea of sorrow and greed. You bathed in my wine, drank from my cup, mocked my rhyme. Your slit tongues licked my aching wounds." Wow. That kind of sounds like uh, an ex-girlfriend, maybe. Uh, you know, what I mean? yeah, some someone taken into the cleaners or something. I'm almost, a priest almost for like the poor sacrifice. I'm but a raft in the sea of sorrow and greed. You bathed in my wine. You drank from my cup and mocked my rhyme. Your slit tongue slicked my aching wounds. I don't know it. it, it I don't know that it was a girlfriend because of your slit tongues. It was multiple people that hurt the composer. Just the first thought that came into my mind. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I guess. Uh, snake. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> slaying the dreamer. Okay. To me, uh, that kind of makes sense in a way of... Uh, I had an ex-wife that never wanted to hear me pick up a guitar or sing a song or so I was kind of got that picture a little bit there where yeah it, it, you know in know in a way um, you know what I mean like, yeah, like I they don't a... want you to they don't want you to succeed but uh, you know regardless you're yeah, still a talented I... individual but uh you got talent, but they don't want to hear it. But, yeah. yeah. So I had it, an ex that squashed. I mean, he did it behind my back without me knowing it. And, uh, yeah, I mm. mean, saying so things. Yeah. You that, through that first too. paragraph yes, to me is kind of like this person is uh, holding me back. Uh, you, you know, I don't know. Yeah, well, you could have a point there because it's like you bathed in my wine and you drank from my cup. This person sounds like they you enjoyed my rhyme. They enjoyed the benefits from his music, but then they turned around and mocked him, and uh, and then at the same time, they his they uh, when they spoke, it it hurt him, you know, mm -hmm. so. All right, we'll move on to uh, paragraph two or verse two or okay, whatever, uh, whatever uh, you want to call it. Next verse, I would say it's probably part of the chorus. Uh, put a stake through my heart and drag me into sunlight. So awake for your greed as you're slaying the dreamer. Sounds like an ex-girlfriend still, man. It does. <laughs> to me, like, oh. It does. You're slaying my dreams, yeah. you know? Yeah. You're putting a, a stake through my heart, and, uh, you know, you don't want me to be this what I am. You, you know. And it's almost like whoever put a stake through his heart, they're, they're put, they're, they're doing it out in the open where people can see that they've been dragged into the light. They're, they're, they're put through this misery uh, in a public eye instead of, you know, behind closed doors or something. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe. And, uh, 
so awake for your greed as you're slaying the dreamer. That's... No. We don't care for greedy people. They annoy us. Okay. What, what I'm getting from that is it's like a girlfriend or wife or whatever, spouse. Uh, is jealous of him spending so much time doing writing the songs and doing the music and not spending time with her. Well, it, it, it may not have been an ex-girlfriend. It could have been some friends. Or, it could have. You know, it's referring to but, someone who was clouding uh, the judgment on relaying this to the, you know, but I said your slit tongues, that's plural, so. Mm -hmm. So that's what I was going by. Mm -hmm. uh, what else we got? Okay. Uh, swan song for the wish of night. God, it hurts. Give a name to the pain. Our promised path. Prim Prim I'm, I'm sorry. Primrose path. To hell is growing weed. Anybody? Read that again? <laughs> Swan song for the wish of night. God it hurts given name to the pain. Our primrose path to hell is growing weed. Wow. Okay. That's pretty deep. Uh, all I can think of is uh, that's, that's saying in, in a. How do you define a swan song? I don't know what a swan sounds like. No, the swan song is symbolic for something. I can't even remember what it is. Yeah. I can't either. <laughs> I know. I'm from Greenville, Alabama. Okay. Anyways, uh, I'm I don't, just I don't know. If, um, if you guys know, drop it in the comments below. <laughs> I think it's elementary. I think. Well, I'd like it's interested to see what might be other Shakespearean or something. Think these words but, uh, mean to them. Very, very well could be. Uh, I think Swan Song has something to do with Shakespeare. Oh, I can't remember. It's been a long me time down the path of uh, okay. um, someone didn't want him. To be a musician anymore, I resented it, you know, in a way. So it's kind of where it's leading me so far. Jealous of the time spent on them, on creating the music and writing the songs. And mm. and that he must have really loved whoever, because it. If if you're not in love with somebody and they do things, it's kind of like, ah, oh, what a jerk. But when you when you love somebody, I don't mean that he was in love because it could have been friends. Uh, but when you love someone, when you're close to someone, it really hurts for them to be greedy on you or put a stake through your heart. You know, that's pretty serious, serious stuff. And. Uh, you know, he's reaching out to God. He says, God, this hurts. You know, he can't even, the, it's so painful, he can't even put a name to it. And Primrose Path is supposed to be a good thing, but it's like the Primrose Path is is hellacious, and instead of... Yeah, it's got weeds all growing in it. Instead of producing fruit, it's the, growing weeds. Right, there, there's and, no... There's no beauty in it anymore. Yeah. Wow, that's deep. Yeah. Sure is. <clears throat> yeah. Allow me to lend a weed whacker to your intellectual thicket. Well, it's like each oh. word is, <laughs> is, you know, carefully planned. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's... Um, all right, well, read on, man. Because okay, uh, blame me, it's me. Coward, a good for nothing scapegoat, dumb kid living a dream, romantic only on paper. Wow, somebody is against his writing. Yes. It would seem. And shame uh, on them, because he's amazing. 
<laughs> brilliant. She's Absolutely brilliant. brilliant. Well, from their point, it's uh, shame on you for spending more time writing songs than with me. Could have been. It's kind of, kind of what I got from that. Yeah, you could like, have been doing the honeydew list and you yeah, did this instead. Yeah, it says only yeah. romantic only on paper. So it may not have just been an ex-girlfriend. Somebody's jealous of his time that yeah. he spends writing music. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, instead of getting attention themselves, and yeah. th to me, and, yeah, and, and and they're blaming him for it, right, right. Instead okay. of, you know, it's, I don't know, Tomas, some awesome writing, man. Yeah, yeah. indeed, oh. indeed. All right, what's next? Okay, what's next? Okay, next one. Uh, Find my cursor here. Tell me why you took all that was mine. Stay as you lay. Don't lead me astray. Wake up, mow the weed. You'd be nothing without me. Take my life if you have the heart to die. Okay. It, it sound, wow. It's, wow. It's sound, it, does, it is sounding more like a, an, uh, ex. an ex. That's an Lover ex. Or a girlfriend or it's something. Like Spouse. Sp well, yeah. Spouse. Yeah. You know, yeah. Spouse. Yeah. Spouse, girlfriend, significant other, whatever you want to call they, it. They sound like they were pretty greedy. Um, and he's kind of like, stay where you are uh, and don't. Uh, uh, sounds like she probably. Played him a bit, you know. It's like yeah, leading him astray. Uh, mm -hmm. Romantic only uh, on paper. Wow. And he's telling her to wake up, get rid of the weeds, because you'd be nothing without me, and take my life if you have the heart to die. In other words, it's like uh, your life would be worthless without me. You'll kill yourself if you take me out. You know, kind of. Maybe something like that. That's really that's good. Deep. That's kind that's of, really yeah, good. I couldn't have said that better. Me yeah. either. Wow. Me either. That was great. Great insight there, Chrissy. All right. Um, I had a great lyric to work with. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. You bastards tainted my tool, raped my words, played me a fool. Gather your precious glitter and leave me be. The great ones are all dead, and I'm tired too. I truly hate you all. Okay. Seemed like she had some comrades. <laughs> Whoever was hurting him. <clears throat> that sounds like former band members or something. Well... Uh, it doesn't you know, um, I don't, it doesn't necessarily mean it was in his band. I don't know who it was. Not necessarily, no. Uh, but but um, he's got one heck of a band now. I'm just, whew, they're all amazing. Oh well, yeah, Kai and and Yoko. Well, you know, yeah. Uh, I had a spouse that died, and um, yeah, I mean, Very sad. you know, I hated everyone afterwards for a minute for yeah. a long time well yeah for a country minute she uh, had some really uh, I was not happy with life and I was uh, yeah. you know so someone someone has the, you know people have the ability to take you know your will away you know and, and if you allow it yeah. if, if you allow it yeah I mean you know but it happens all the time. Oh yeah. You know? But uh, and and people get so discouraged and they, you know and they blame everyone and but changing your mindsets where that you know can change your story. But whew, that's deep. I mean, it really is. It's really it's, uh, the composer Tomas really seems like a down to earth. Uh, person that just mm -hmm. 
he's more about the art. He's 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 about the creativity. He's it's very very deep and personal. This man did not get into music from writing. He it, it's it's ingrained in his soul. I mean, we write, right. and when you don't write, or you're not composing, or you're not producing content, it's really torturous. It hurts. It's it's painful. <laughs> and, yes, it is. And. Mm. I mean, I feel like every time I listen to something this man has composed, I'm going to a master class. And yeah. I know on my level, it's painful to be that amazing and that talented. This pain must really compound. And it's, yeah, it's like, I can't imagine the, the pain of having such a great composition <coughs> and then have people Excuse stomp on it with their their greed and their harsh words and he's he was really hurt and, oh yeah uh, and, right. and yeah sometimes people trample on you to the point where it's like you know we don't want to hate people and i'm sure he don't want to hate people but they, some no, there's some not. people that you you just they're kind of like that gooey stuff that gets on the bottom of your boot and it's like, oh, you know, sometimes people are you like feel that. feel it squishing between your toes. You see? Them off. A lot of people uh, force <laughs> you oh. to hate them yeah. too. It's like uh, they push and push and push and push. And, Some do, you know. mo mostly politicians. But, uh, anyway, that's a different video. <laughs> yeah. but there's good and bad in everything. Wow, deep lyrics, man. Yeah. That is... Uh, it, it leads me to believe it's uh, it's a bad breakup it, it, it either of some sort. either that mm -hmm. at, or combined with uh, you know uh, the world uh, looking down on you uh, because you're not all that's expected of you from their eyes and uh, and who are they to judge? You know, the yeah. Lord gave us all gifts, and uh, if you don't use those gifts that you've uh, been given, then you're wasting your life. And uh, that uh, yeah. people tend to get an impending doom feeling when they're not who they're supposed to be. And they can't express it themselves. And and this song kind of takes me there, like, yeah, it's like so people. many people have tried to take and take and take the gifts that I was given and say, oh, no, you'll never be anything. You can't, you don't have what it takes. You're not good enough, you know, and you repeatedly hear that. And it's like, I always phew, prove them you wrong. just want to puke mm -hmm. from, you know, the non-belief of of the people around you, you know, that that don't support you, and uh, mm. so Complete. that song kind of takes me there of like, why, why don't you support me in what I'm doing? Right. Why won't you see it, you know, well, as see. I see it? Why can't you? you know? Obviously, it's successful, <clears throat> you know, from. You know that that type of a standpoint. Yeah, and, and it's it would be interesting to know at what point in his life this was written. Uh, was this really uh, like sometimes we've got lyrics in some of our songs that was written. You know, it's like one of our songs is like it was oh, yeah. one of the first first lyric compositions I composed before I was ever in a band. You know, we've actually got that on our. Right. set list and stuff right. so it's it's interesting to know what time period and, and you know of course it might be a personal thing that you'd rather people not know sometimes stuff is kind of personal and you feel kind of guilty getting into it it's like i know our interpretation is probably so off kilter from what actually happens and then right? again but he leaves the interpretation to the listener yeah and that's what i love about his writing yeah True, and and it can be. Uh, it's not black and white. That's for sure. It's uh, right. he well, definitely I, paints a portrait when he writes his words. Well, I had sure. 
floor's singing it, so it's got to it be. It did not sound that dark, though. No, it didn't. Uh, it sounded more bright and and fun, and 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 then when I read the lyrics, I'm like. Whoa. Well, uh, the, wow, the way <laughs> she walks over to Marco, and Marco, he's there Marco's like, yeah. jamming on the bass, and he's like, <laughs> you know, it's like he's slaying her. You know, I, I love the way those two act out the stuff together. I mean, I mean awesome. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah it, it's on the Decades album, so. What did that song mean to you guys? Uh, are we kind of on board with uh, how, how we interpret uh, you know the song is, is that where it's going um, what are your what are some of y'all's thoughts uh, as to where this is going we we'd like to know uh, yeah, drop it in the comments we'd, I we'd mean, like to know we're breaking down these lyrics because most of the songs we've heard so far we did not understand the story so the one way to do that is to look at the lyrics after we do the song after we and, do the reaction yeah. you know and or, yeah the, after we listen to the song uh, none of these songs I haven't heard any of these songs so the more songs I hear by Nightwish the deeper I want to get into the psyche uh -huh. of, of yeah. Tomas and all the band members and uh, <clears throat> what, are, well, what are they? It's, what? It's, it's like I said. It's it's like a master class. So we want to break down all the elements of music in our mind because it's complex and it's gratifying because of a lot of times we hear a lot of stuff and it's just kind of black and white and. And, and kind of, okay, there's your drums, there's your guitar, there's your bass, there's your vocals, and voila. Well, but this is so deep, it's, it's, it's like... This ain't no cook, cookie cutter rock and roll, man. No, this is, <laughs> the, lyrics, uh, the lyrics... Uh, Are just as know, important as any element. Sometimes it could just make the song. It does make the song. Uh, oh. And, well, there are times where... It, you know, like that other song we heard. The music was killer. The words were silly to me. <clears throat> but yeah. oh, you're uh, talking about hyper hyper. Oh, okay. no, no. well, I mean, no, they haven't seen that yet. Come with, call me. Oh, come. anyways, Lord have mercy. There's this. Funny they haven't seen group this yet either. Okay, okay, so okay. either way, that one's coming out next. That <laughs> song to me. It's it's not just your exes. It's all the people that don't believe in you. The downers, the haters, the, the doubters. You know, the well, yeah, but it's 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 like my mother put me through ensemble in school as a kid. And then when I grew up, she told me, well, you better get a trade because that'll never pay. And so I went and got a trade. All right, well, right then and there, when my mother thought and doubted, I had a doubt as well. And It plants that seed. Yeah, it? and this song kind of is about that people planting that seed of doubt in my opinion i could be wrong oh this sounds well, like a good you know, song title sea of doubt Ooh, seed uh, of doubt seed of doubt yeah i like slit that okay tongues. we created that first okay. that's us boom okay your slit your slit oh. <laughs> tongues licked my aching wounds it's, it's like these people were like snakes you know? exactly so, cold blooded. Yeah. Yeah. So slaying exactly. the dreamer. Cold blooded. Um, to me, is about the naysayers, the haters, the people that don't believe in you, kind of bring you down, and you have to overcome that, and uh, and don't listen to that nonsense. Uh, rise above. Because 
you well, know. Well, think about it. Jesus Christ was perfect, and they crucified him. You know, there's going to be the naysayers. There's going to be the haters. There's going to be the that hate you wrongfully. And um, it's so sad that, that anybody that amazing and that clever and that artistic I, would have to go through so much agony. But right. I love how he wrote this in a way where it's, it's subtle. Uh, uh, defeating his adversaries. Uh, with his music, you know, yeah. it's it's not yeah. uh, you know. That's what I did with sad. You hurt me, and I took it away. You know? That's what I did I mean, with sad Elaine. I I I was visiting my son. I was in my camper. I was in his driveway. I had a little cheap keyboard, and I was very hurt. This is before I ever met. You know, this is before I started this band. Or got in this band, uh, but uh, yeah, I, I went through. It was a lot of pain, and I'm like, every time somebody hurts me, I want to <laughs> write it down because I that's that's therapy, and uh, so yeah, I understand. Lots of therapy here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. All right, that's about all I got. Yeah. Uh, me too. Yep, I think I rambled on. What do y'all think, man? Uh, tell us what you think, guys. Uh, I can't wait to hear some of y'all's comments about this song because, uh, you know, you've been listening to this band longer than we have, and uh, oh yeah, are we on the right track? Uh, yeah, should, should should we do more of these uh, lyric line breakdowns? I mean, or yeah, lyrics? I mean, <laughs> you know. tell if us you, your opinion. If you uh, are into that, I mean, uh, we're certainly here. To, uh, we'd like to know the story behind the song, and one way to do that is, yeah, is read the lyrics, especially right after we hear it, because yeah, uh, we get so far away from the song, and then it's it's we've got a new song by then, and now this song is uh, my next favorite. So <laughs> <laughs> yes, but in I a mean, way, I mean, uh, but. Incredible song, incredible writing, incredible band, incredible band, incredible uh, Tomas, incredible, <laughs> uh, you know, family that we've, uh, y'all have came to us and said, uh, hey, we'd like you to do this, and and uh, without y'all, we probably yeah. wouldn't be doing this because we were discouraged right from the beginning, and it was like, ah, we don't want to do that, and. And uh, it's not like it pays us a lot of money or anything. We've, no. <laughs> we've, no. We love this band. And uh, now... Uh, it's not about the money anyway. Uh, no, for it's us. not about... I was saying it's $10 split four ways. <laughs> we don't care. Yeah. It's, it's, I, we love this band. Like I said, it's like a master class. Yeah, but we've also uh, come to love some of the bands that y'all have recommended as well. Of course. And yeah. we have yet Epica, to do some Sabaton, of those. And, uh, Winter Sun. I know that, uh, one that's a few of the up. songs that we have listened to uh, as a group of Christians who happen to play rock music uh you know, we may not always agree uh, with the words, the lyrics, the message, uh, but it's not to say that we don't love it in a musical way uh, because we hear it differently than just the average person. We can hear every aspect of the music. And that's what drives us to be better musicians. So, love you guys. That's about God, all I got. God bless y'all. Y'all behave yourselves. Stay Tell safe. us what you think. Absolutely. Stay safe. And three, two, one. Later. Later.